Hello, this is the Meta Man, and in this video, I commit to telling you the technical analysis for Sandbox, exactly how I do the technical analysis and exactly the result. I will give you today's price, which is easy, and the price for three months from now and the price for 12 months from now. So let's get started. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because Jason, a loyal subscriber, asked me to make a video on technical analysis for Sandbox. You might say, well, why don't you make one for me? I'm happy to. Just go to this video right now. Just go to this video right now and watch that entire video. And sometime during that video, I tell you a secret word, a secret password. And when you put a comment in that video, you can ask for any video you want me to make as long as you use that password. So use that password in the chat, in the comment, and then ask for anything you wish and I will do it for you. I mean it. I am the Meta Man. The Meta Man rocks. The Meta Man rocks. <laughs> I hope you like that, that uh, professional female voice. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started right now. On the screen right now, you can see a view of Sandbox from CoinGecko.com. The first part way up here is about the fundamental analysis. And you see, I just type in sand. And then when I go down to the bottom, I get the technical analysis. Now you look at this, you don't exactly know what to do. Why? Because here comes the rule, when in doubt, zoom out. When in doubt, zoom out. You see here, you've only got 24 hours of information and that's really not enough to do a technical analysis. So let's zoom out. Let's zoom out to 90 days. 90 days gives us a really good view of this particular coin. And you can see if I changed it to the maximum, you can see there's too little information. All, all the good stuff happened right around here and 90% of the page is empty. So I change it to 90 days so I can get a full view of what's happened. Now, how does it work? Well, there's a concept called a floor and a floor or support is an extremely important concept in technical analysis. And strangely, a floor and a ceiling are the same. You might say, no, no, you stand on a floor and you can't go higher than the ceiling. They can't be the same, they're the exact opposite. Well, strangely in technical analysis, floors become ceilings and ceilings become floors. So let's look at Sandbox for the last 90 days. And you can see that the lowest green line is about $2.10. And you can see that at first sand went up to the green line and fell down and then went up to the green line and fell down and then crashed through it. But then what's strange is when it floats back down a few weeks later, it then has support at $2.10. And then it floated down and didn't get all the way to the green line and went straight up again. And so what you need to understand is that floors become ceilings. First of all, a coin can't break through a certain ceiling. And then once it breaks through, it doesn't go below that ceiling, which has become a floor. Now let's look at the middle green line. You can see that Sandbox shot up to about $3.60 and went down and then went up to almost $3.60 and went down and then went up to $3.60 and just stayed there for a while and then broke through. And then the top green line is the most significant. Why? Because you can see that sand went up to that line at about $4.50 and then went down and then crashed through it. But what's really important is that a month or so later, it came down to above that and up and then came down to above that and up and then it came down to above that and up, and then it came down two or three times right to that line and went up 
and then it came down to just above that line. In other words, that highest green line is the one that's had the most resistance and the most support. So it's the most stable line that we have for Sandbox. In other words, Sandbox is over $6 right now. It's about six and a half dollars. It's gonna have a lot of trouble falling below $4.50 because there's so much support at that level. Now, if you're interested in this, then subscribe. If I'm giving you good information about fundamental analysis in other videos and technical analysis in this video, if I'm giving you good information about Sandbox and about other coins in the metaverse, then subscribe. There is a button right down there. There's a red button way down there. Just click on it and subscribe. Also, when you like this particular video, instead of subscribing to the entire channel, if you like this particular video, then share it. Because when you like and share the video, and when you subscribe to the channel, then YouTube and Google say, wow, the Meta Man is doing a good job. I better tell more people about it. So I'm doing you a huge favor. It takes me a long time, about half a day, to do the research and then to record and then to put up the final video on YouTube and do some SEO optimization. It takes me half a day. And I do that at no charge just to be nice to you. So let's go back to our technical analysis. Now what you see, I've added the future. Today is December 20, let me check, December 27th, and I'm releasing this on December 29. And right now, sand is at about six, six and a half dollars. And I've added the future. I've added January and February, because you can see that the bottom line, which was the top support line before in the previous video, and I've also added that slanted line, because you'll notice that if you look at the tops, we're getting lower highs. We're getting lower highs. As you go to the right, the highs are getting lower and lower, which means we have a wedge. And when a coin graphically wiggles around inside of a wedge, then what you do is you typically, according to technical analysis, you buy at the bottom of the wedge. You can see that it, once it crashed through and came back down to the bottom, and then it wiggled back up again. No surprise. Well, right now, it's at the very top of the wedge. This is not a good time to be buying because you expect it to wiggle around and eventually get to the bottom of the wedge. And then when it's at the bottom, it'll wiggle around and get to the top of the wedge. And then it'll wiggle around and get to the bottom. But eventually, the wedge will end somewhere around February of 2022. And at that point, sand has to either race up or race down. So that's just the technical analysis, but let's see if I can add some of my own spirit, my own sentiment, my own love into it and tell you what I think will actually happen. Let's see what I think will actually happen. And here it is. I am quite a student of Bitcoin and it seems to me, though I'm not gonna go into it in this video, that Bitcoin is about to fall. Bitcoin a few weeks ago, maybe it's about a month and a half ago now, took a really big dump. But the leverage is still there and leverage is horrible. Only fools use leverage, only fuels. The whales don't use it. The whales is an investor that has 1,000 Bitcoins in his wallet. 1,000 times 50,000 is $50 million. That's a whale. And the minnows get eaten by the whales and it's the silly minnows that have leverage. You and I don't have a thousand Bitcoins in our wallet, but we're the dolphins. We're as wise as the whales. We just don't have as much money as the whales. And so the little silly minnows that do everything wrong, they still have a lot of leverage. In other words, if they wanted to buy $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, they'd put up 1,000 and borrow 9,000, which means if Bitcoin goes down by just 10%, they're completely wiped out. There's too much leverage in the market and the whales don't want Bitcoin to race up when the minnows have a lot of leverage. Otherwise, the minnows will make a fortune and there's no need for the whales to allow minnows to make a fortune. They will likely manipulate the market so that Bitcoin will take a big dump. And when it does, all the altcoins will fall, including my beloved sandbox. So I think 
that the red line is what's going to happen, that well before sand gets to the edge of its wedge, I think Bitcoin will fall maybe January, maybe February, maybe an hour and a half from now. I don't know. When it does, sand will break down below its wedge. And then when all of the leverage minnows are wiped out and completely lose everything, then the whales will allow Bitcoin to race up. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think that that is what's going to happen. So here is my prediction. Jason, who played that video and wanted me to make a video, and he used the keyword, <clears throat> wanted me to give him a prediction for three months and for 12 months. So here it is. My March 2022 prediction is that sand will go from roughly $6 to roughly $12, which is 2x. And by December of 2022, which is a year from now, I think sand will go from roughly $6 to roughly $30, which is 5x. And by the way, sand isn't the only coin in the metaverse. If you go right here, I have an entire playlist on lots of coins in the metaverse, and you might really enjoy seeing those. In fact, if you want a recommendation of a low cap metaverse coin that is a really good one, in my opinion, then go right here for my neighbor, Alice. My neighbor Alice is way down low in the market cap rank, but I think it could explode easily and give you lots, lots of X, lots of lots of uh, multiplier, probably more than sand. But sand has the um, confidence that it's a big coin and an established coin. I think sand is going to topple Axie Infinity. And I'm sure you want to hear it again. So here goes. The Meta Man rocks. The Meta Man rocks. Ah, <laughs> that is so much fun. Thank you for listening to that entire video. Click right here to learn about Render, the most incredible coin in the metaverse. Click right there where it says Meta in order to subscribe and click right there to play my previous video. Thank you.